is two coffees, Mocha and Java. We know Java is from Java. Now, what is Mocha? Mocha came the word Mocha. In the old days, coffee was produced or exported from, certain, from a port. And that coffee was known for its port that was exported. Like Mandeheling, it was exported from there, and it was known Sumatra. When they used to ask, where is it coming from? When they say Mandeheling, oh, it's a good coffee. And the Mocha used to come from Yemen. The port was known as Mecca. And the cafe people used to think, they used to ask, where is it coming from? When they say Mecca, oh, it's a nice coffee. And that was the name used to come. Mocha Java is two coffees, Mocha Yemeni and uh, Java Arabica. When we say Mocha, we always think of chocolate. And why describe the, to the consumer, this has chocolatey characteristic. Consumer always thinks, nice, good tasting chocolate. Mocha doesn't taste that chocolate, but it tastes like chocolate. The reason is that the regular chocolate has sugar inside and it is sweet. But if you taste regular chocolate without, uh, or cocoa without sugar, it has that funny uh, bitter characteristic. Mocha is exactly like that. However, this is the genuine mocha from Yemen. There is also another mocha from Ethiopia. They call it mocha harar, but that is a little bit different. But the genuine mocha is mocha from Yemen. That's why by taking two coffees, Java, which has sweetness, mocha, which has nuttiness, by combining together, it becomes like a sweet and sour. It's nice, nutty, chocolatey, and smoothness. That's what it is. Henry, I see in your descriptions the, the word earthy. What is earthy? Earthy is, uh, sometimes we call it earthy, sometimes we call it woody. Earthiness, uh, if you are open, if you are in a place where it is open ground, you know when the rain comes, the smell, the aroma of that soil, how it smells, and almost you taste, this is exactly how it is. Like a dry wood, if you taste or smell, or the earthy, the rain, the first rain that comes, the ground brings up the aroma, the taste, you almost can taste. This is called earthiness. It's not too smooth, has a little bit roughness inside. This is what it means, earthiness.
Smoking means exactly like uh, when you smell the dark burning smoke. Uh, that is uh, accomplished by uh, way of roasting. Some people think that they're doing uh, some kind of a job or some kind of a uh, secret trick. But actually what it is is taking the smoke of the bean, bringing back, because the last stage of the bean, the bean is so hot that whatever is around you, around the bean, it absorbs. So by doing that, the, the coffee becomes a little bit uh, smokiness. Uh, majority of people do not like, but some people do like because they all smoke and they enjoy that they taste. The smokiness is exactly like smoke. Um, can you, is that, is that something you roast in or is it part of a blend? No, rust, uh, roast, usually it's from the roasting. But some people, some coffees do have that characteristics in them. If you roast darker, it enhances, the, the taste comes out. But uh, it is not very enjoyable uh, taste that people will like. But some, there are some customers that they do like. We don't have and we don't do that kind of a trick on the coffee. The coffee that you buy from my store is either today's roast, the oldest coffee that I have in my store is three days old. The turnaround of every single bean is three days. We sell between two to three hundred pounds a day, six days, seven days a week. So all my beans are fresh. I roast in small batches so that it will take me only three days. After third days, if you come, like now, if you look, the beans are empty. We don't have it, it's gone, finish. Tomorrow if you come, it's fresh. So if you buy coffee from me, my coffees will stay whole beans fresh in a nice airtight container. It will, there's few months fresh. But if it is ground, it will take at least four to six weeks fresh. Because it is freshly roasted, freshly ground, stored in a nice airtight container, and uh, don't refrigerate, just put it on the shelf, it will stay for a long time. But from some companies that they already buy roasted coffee and they sell, that system from the roasting to their store has already taken two months, if not six weeks, six to eight weeks. That coffee is already old, six weeks minimum. Whereas mine is, the oldest one is three days old. So when you take home, the coffee to three months will stay fresh. If roasted, one month is nothing. I recommend always storing coffee in an airtight container, not refrigerator, but on the shelf. Do not buy too much coffee. Buy as much as you can use one month or two months maximum. This way, constantly, psychologically, you know that you're getting fresh coffee all the time. This is the best way of buying it. Whole beans, of course, stays fresh longer. Short is uh, ground stays fresh shorter. So if I bought from you ground coffee, how long can I keep it in the air? Between four, con a storing in an airtight container, four to six weeks guarantee that coffee will stay fresh and smell fresh. There are many ways of uh, brewing coffee. We call it manual, melita, or over system. We have French press. Now people are getting hype of this siphon system where the water goes up and comes down. And there is automatic coffee maker. 
It's a matter of personal taste, personal choice, and the taste preference. I like my carpet to be pure, clean. That's why I use paper filter. I don't use gold filter or carpet press. What is the difference? In coffee press, the grind, whatever grind is, there are some powders. After you brew your coffee and pour your over drink, you're drinking the essence of coffee plus some powder. If you leave the coffee on your cup, after you make coffee press, pour in your cup, leave it like that, don't touch, let it stay half an hour or so, and pour slowly or pour through a paper filter you will see that there are some grounds coffee. That's a powder coffee. Some people, they like that taste. I enjoy it some once in a while, but I like pure coffee. That's why I go paper filter. That's the difference between coffee press or coffee siphon and uh, paper filter. On a paper filter, you have two categories. You have a V-shaped filter and you have a cupcake filter. In general terminology, they call it Mr. Cafe style or Melita style, the V-shape. The, the cupcake filters, when you put the bean grounds over here, the water goes through, and you have only this area that strains the coffee and comes down. Whereas in the V-shaped filter, you have all this area is open that ex that coffee is extracted. It's a matter of how long the grounds stay contact with uh, with the coffee beans, coffee grounds and water. How long do they stay together? That is the purpose. On the V-shape, if the grind is coarse, the water goes too fast, and you don't have good extraction. If the coffee is cupcake and the ground is too fine, you get overflow. You don't get extraction too well. The extraction is very slow and becomes very bitter. For that reason, we have a number. How fine, how coarse to grind? That is the question we ask. Do you have a V-shaped filter or a cupcake filter? So that we'll, our grind will be correct for your coffee brewing system. I like my coffee flavorful and strong. Will adding more coffee to it when I'm getting ready to brew make it stronger? I have met customers that uh, they come and they tell me that I like strong or my coffee doesn't taste exactly the way that you make over there. One of the reasons is coffee is like a, like a chemistry. There is a proportion how much water, how much coffee. I have customers that they say, I don't measure, I just pour the cup, the bag like this, and then I brew my coffee. That's wrong. For every four ounce of water, you need one tablespoon of coffee, depending on the grind. If the grind is fine, or the course is correctly, me or one coffee, I have grind the coffee. The right, correct proportion is every four to five ounce of water, one tablespoon of coffee. By adding extra, you're wasting coffee. There is no extraction. Nothing is going to happen. It's not going to be strong. You're just wasting coffee. That's what it is. Why is it stronger? It's not stronger because the coffee is not just either sitting over there, you're ruining the taste, or it's going too fast. If it stays too long, you're going to say, oh, it's taking too long. I don't like it. But if 